Hi there. This is chapter seven, lecture number eighteen. So we ended up with integrating the windows inside of the towers, and what I'd like to do in this lecture is working on a border in top of the towers to blend the roof better with the brick. So let's take a look in the render view. So I now added a texture and. On top of it, I want to place a border, but we need to model that one. Right now, the blending is uh, not really smooth. Maybe in this one, but that one looks pretty ugly. So uh, let's get started. So what I like to do is I'm going to import my sandstone border image, and I like to add, add mesh, and we want to have a circle, and we drag the circle to the sandstone border. Then we're going to scale this, and we're putting it right there, and we start modeling. So I have to take a look. Let's go to the modeling tab so we have some more visibility. This is way better. We got all the space, and we put this right there, and let's start extruding it. So I press uh, E, and. I have to find the right way where to start. Alt left mouse click GZ and turn it a little bit more upwards and scale this down to the bottom and scale it just very gentle. And Alt left mouse click and we continue doing this and we scale it and we scale this even more and put this down and right there and one more time. And put this right inside. Alt left mouse click on the bottom, and we want to scale this as well. So it's very important that we have a sort of a curve right there. And I think we did pretty well. Maybe scale that one a little bit more back. It's more inside. Good. So this is the rough model, and we have to apply a material on it. So that's the texture that I imported. So we go to material, and let's call this sandstone border. Yes, and we have to apply an image on it, image texture. And we need to open it, ornaments, and there it is. And go to object shade smooth, and then we left click on just a random vertex. Control L. Press U and cylindrical projection, and we toggle back to the UV editing, and we want to have this border. I think it's sandstone border zero two, and then we left click on it, and we're going to scale this something like this. Look at that! Isn't it lovely? Maybe a bit more. And S Z, so you want to scale this a little bit. All right, so now I want to do some shading on it, just roughness and a bump because I do not have a normal map image. Do do do, and that is the roughness because I have two of them, and we have to select the border too. Otherwise, it looks weird. Non-color, putting the color in the roughness, and I want to have a specularity of 0.02. Of course, I want to highlight this, and then we go to add vector bump, and we duplicate this image. And let's check. I want to have the bump effect, non-color data, color inside of the heat, and make this point one. I put the normal inside of the normal, so it will add a little bit of bump on it. Okay. So now we drag this sandstone border to the circle tower, the cylindrical tower, or whatever you name it, and we need to put this in line. This is quite challenging. <laughs> so it needs to integrate without seeing the the border itself. So maybe a little bit more to the right. Oh, this is hard to see. And blend this a bit better. S C, make it bigger. So let's move the roof more on top. Left click on this tower, and I want to remove. Let's move this one as well to the top. I want to remove the top part, only the faces. 
and scale this a little bit and press X faces yes and now we can blend this and what you also can do is just select the bottom line yes and merge this a bit more inside of it but we don't want to see empty holes but I think this, this works pretty good and then we select the top one alt left mouse click press E and extrude this inside alt left mouse click and scale this as well and G Z turn it upwards alt shift left mouse click on these then you go to UV editing press S Y This is some fancy modeling work. And we grab this part. Let's take a look how that looks like. Just hit point. And in fact, if we lower this roof, it should blend. And we have a texture issue over there. And that won't be fixed with a cylinder roll. A smart UV. <laughs> no, that won't work. We need this one, cylinder roll one. Yeah, that's doing right. It's about the angle you have to have a good UV and wrap. Nice and smooth. We have a sort of a black line. So, over there. And that's because this UV map is in the shadows. Uh, just a bit more. That's smoother. So now we have this roof and a sandstone border. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Wonderful, right? So we also want a border on the square building. So what we do is go to add mesh and make a plane. And we direct this plane to this sandstone texture, background texture. And let's scale this a little bit. And Move this to the right. Move this to the right, and let's take a look at everything is selected. Let's move this a bit more backwards, and we're doing exactly the same. So we start with extruding. GZ. Scale this a little bit. Press E. Yes. Just check if everything is going right. Press E again. GZ. And move this to the left. Press E. G a bit more and we're almost there just a bit more and the final one is going straight up right there and one for the inside alt left mouse click on the bottom and we want to have one there as well so check if this looks a little bit yeah alt left mouse click and maybe a bit smaller. So go to the face selection mode and you remove the top part and we have a sort of a challenge over there. Seems like something went wrong. Let's take a look what happens. I think I extruded only the front part. So we go to fireframe and we have to do this again. And now check if everything is selected. And we extrude this and scale this. Yeah, and now we can uh, remove the faces. All right. Control L. And let's go for a cylindrical projection as well. Just the simplest way for adding the texture. And try to align this image as good as you can and go to render view ah, of course we need to link this border from the tower material and we move this to the square tower we scale this control a rotation and scale you should do this in the edit mode gy And same as the uh, cylindrical tower, needs to merge. As C, make it a bit bigger. Let's just move, hide the sandstone border a little bit. But I think we're doing right. 
All right, look at that. So what you can do is add some edge lines on each side. It doesn't really matter how many, just don't go too wild. And you're going to add some curviness on it. Proportional anything. Okay, we have enabled it, but it's just way too big. Just random, because it will never look straight. Same for the areas control B. And so around it. All right, I think it looks beautiful. Good. So we will probably do some more uh, fixing on these, but uh, yeah, just so you know, we have nice borders on the tower. So we continue to do modeling on the on the towers and the walls in the next lectures. So see you there, and thank for watching. Bye bye.